Today, Leo and I are headed to a Los Angeles climate protest. And things are about to get a few degrees hotter. Uh, sir, you can't touch me. You can't touch me, sir. You're not the officer. I am not talking with my Do it. Hey, they read me my sign, man. Come on. I am a lowly oil employee being battered at the oil workers of color. Where's something gay gonna happen, dude? Don't talk to me in case AIDS is an airborne. <laughs> The 2020s thus far have been the decade of the shrill protester. And in my mind, climate protesters are the worst of all. What is worth more, art or life? Breaking news out of the US Open, at least three climate protesters started screaming in fossil fuels so loud that it disrupted play, apparently gluing their bare feet to the stands. You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. People are suffering. People are dying. Reside, raise this. You. You do. You do. How do they expect to win anybody over to their cause by acting like toddlers? Well, Leo, I think it's because nobody yet has put them in time out. Ooh. I found the Twitter account of the people throwing this event today, and they're not even trying not to suck. <laughs> The climate crisis is costing us everything. Us brown people, us black people, us indigenous people. Oh. You're brown, Leo, has it cost you everything? It has, man, it really has. And Leo, I don't think you have long to live at all, according oh. to this guy. Now I'm engaged to my accomplice in life. It's a very progressive way to describe a wife or husband. Yeah. And we're inheriting a world we can't possibly survive in. I don't know if we will make it out of our 20s and we can't dream about our family growing. They can't even dream about it. Because oh, when they try to have dreams, Leo, the climate comes in. <laughs> Just taking this guy out, huh? Just taking out his dreams. Unbelievable. We're gonna go in today. There's a couple of out of touch, big oil employees to, you know, win some of the younger generation over to our side. Please like the video if you guys wouldn't mind because we need the encouragement. Also, subscribe to the channel. We upload every Sunday at 9 a.m. And this video was brought to you by Patreon. The lovely people in that community, they're responsible for everything you see. Saltine, you're our getaway driver. Sir, let's redo that handshake. Hold on. I think you might be too stoned to drive. Yeah. And we have Kelvin helping us out behind the camera. Kelvin and Neeks. Feeling good, buddy? Yeah, yeah. Time for. Go, or you guys, is it good? We're with Shell. We're just here to make peace. <laughs> How are you? We work with free tie dye T-shirts. Everybody wants to talk about gas. It's, we're just, you know, we're here to make friends. Oh yeah. Oh look at this. Oh, this is enemy number one at our company. I tell you what, she's not too popular around the Shell building. We have our face with a bullseye. We have a face with a bullseye, and everybody just throws shit at her all the time. Fit wads, loogies. You guys want a, a tie dye T-shirt? Oh, wow. Let's uh. Well, let's talk about it. Yeah, let's talk about it a little bit. Just let's talk about it. Yeah. Global warming, more like summer all year round. You don't think the people in Canada want a little bit uh, warmer? You know, you want to get. Uh, what about the people in Iceland? Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Cool. They deserve a little California sunshine in Iceland. Yes. That's why global warming. We don't see it as all bad. It's not a big deal, man. Who's gonna say no to more toking up on reefer at the beach? <laughs> yeah. No, nothing yeah. wrong with that. More far out music festival fun, yeah! What do you guys like, Jefferson Airplane? Yeah. You guys like tambourine? Oh, plenty of tambourine once the temperature goes up three degrees. That's right. And uh, lastly, oh yeah, more road tripping with Shell. Hold up the sign, gasoline. Yeah. Shell. It's groovy, man, it's groovy. <laughs> Miss, please don't dismiss us offhand like that. You haven't heard our pitch. We're not the enemy, you know. We're not the enemy. We just want to have a good time. She doesn't know it's a joke. We're just two USC graduates whose fathers paid for our tuition, and we're <laughs> and we're trying to spread the word. We just want to have a good time. I'm from. And while we're on the here's the pitch. If oil companies are bad and animals are good, why are the animals always doing blackface? There's a lot of blackface, man. 
It's really derogatory. You That's know? not good. I mean, that is mockery of the highest order. I'm a light-skinned Cuban, but I, my dark-skinned friends, they don't like it, man. They don't like this, this bullshit. Hey, quiet down over there. UCSB, oh, there's a lot of oil rigs offshore at UCSB. I did a summer internship on one of those oil rigs out there in the Santa Barbara Channel. It was great. Hi, how's it going, man? Shell oil! All right, don't give it on you. Turn the around. Wait, miss, please. Oh, miss. miss, please hear us out. You know what? You said it's fun. Climate uh, change, climate injustice, people losing their lives, not fun, okay? So, but summertime in Canada is fun. We're going to leave. So we, we got sent over by Shell. We're actually, we got sent over by uh, Shell. We're, we're just trying to do our job too, man. We're being respectful. We're just we just want to spread the word. Yeah, you guys are YouTubers and you guys are also white men that are co-opting this time where we're no, no, no. LA City because our people are dying. But no, no. So if you want to make a joke out of people dying, that's fine. But I appreciate sure. you don't do it here. But okay, you got to laugh. Do you want to go? Yeah. Well, I haven't had a chance to rebut yet. It's time to go. I, you're not, it's time to go. Not. But no, no, we're actually on the side of people of color. Sir, you can't touch me. You can't touch me, sir. You're not the officer. We're just trying to make peace. We're just trying to... Hey, how about a tie-dye t-shirt? A tie-dye t-shirt. I smoked... I smoked ganja before I came here. Wait, one sec. Sir. Well, no, I... You are not. You are not welcome. Sir, you can't put hands on me. I'm going to ask you to leave. You're going to have to get an officer to get me to leave, sir. You're going to have to get an officer. I am responsible for security here and sir, I am you are touching me. I am being battered. I am a lowly oil employee being battered. No. I gotta, hey, you took a tie-dye shirt without hearing. Now you got to hear my pitch. Manny. You have Manny. My job. It's my job. It's my job, man. Oh, I'm being battered. You guys got to check this out with me. There's a lot of propaganda. Thank you for coming. Danny boy. I have to, I have to stay with my guys. Sorry, they're talking with my Hey, what really happened at the Deepwater Horizon oil spill disaster? I got the story. Right now. On Louisiana's coast, more dirty oil washed ashore today. The greatest oil spill in American history now covers 29,000 square miles. The explosion killed 11 workers and spilled between 42 and 210,000 gallons of thick crude oil a day for nearly three months into the Gulf, coating beaches from Texas to Florida. Sorry, they're talking with my. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Do it. Hey, they read me my sign, man. Come on. I do need that. What really happened to deep water? Twas April 10th. Twas April 20th, 2010. Bye. Bye. And some hippie young oil workers smoked a sativa. Smoked a sativa indica blend. Up swam a dolphin and a pelican swooped and hovered. We have kids here. Well, he was swearing aggressively. I haven't used one bad word yet. Hold on. Hey, potty mouth. There are kids here. I'll talk to him about that. You are not Come on, man. Sir, no. you are not Listen, I'm from Cuba, man. You know, gas is, is, is we still in the 1950s there. We have a lot of, we have a lot of, Viva Cae, Fidel, Fidel. Up swam a dolphin and a pelican swooped and hovered. And they hurled racial epithets at the oil workers of color. Oh, the oil workers of color. They like it when you tackle them too. They, kids like that, kids like that. Not cool, said one worker who happened to be trans. Blow me, said the dolphin. I support abortion bans. Take your troll energy and let's go. But the fossil fuel is not the problem. They were, the dinosaurs were put on this earth by God. God is not real. It doesn't exist. You don't have the proof of this, man. It's called science. You ever heard of NASA? Nice. The pelican produced a cross and the dolphin set it ablaze. And they hurled the flaming cross Come on. at the black workers and the gays. Come on. The diverse oil workers. Hey, let's just go. leave, please. Have your own event. Go. Go, 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 go. Would it be possible it for you song, to explain man. to me yeah, yeah. what it is the message that you're trying to get out? Uh, basically, at Shell, we think we've gotten a bad rap, and we just want to come out here and let people know that, hey, you know, Shell. climate change Shell. climate change is inevitable. It is going to happen. It's okay. it's about 70% our fault, Correct. but there are some good things about climate change, too. That's all we're trying to get across. In Cuba, the, the, the tobacco leaves, they do a lot better with more heat. 
six degrees is only going to help the tobacco product be even better in Cuba. You know, we, we, we know it's the truth. We have the best cigars in the world. And the best They're scientists. Going, and, and the best scientists. We have the best scientists, too. The Cubans, they know everything about science, man. I'm telling you the truth, man. We, we want the six degrees. But also, there's a lot of propaganda against gas that's not true, you know, like everything else. They're lying about the gas, you know. Yeah. Fossil well, fuel is not that bad. I mean, they aren't really lying, but hey, I mean, aren't you down for summer a couple months longer each year? Okay, you guys I mean, you are don't think rolling, and it's, it's yeah. funny, but this is not the place to do this shit. Like, yeah. this is really nice. Say, well, it was going okay right. until I got a linebacker hit. What's that? Satire. Well, he said it was funny. You got to talk to him about his taste. Satire. You're representing Shell. We are, yeah. Perfect. How you doing, sir? Like I'm doing fine. Thank you. Appreciate it. You guys are very We have a mug. Do you guys want that mug? We do have a mug we can bring by. You if you like coffee. We have geese for you guys. We have some lanyards, some shell lanyards. We have umbrellas too for when it really heats up. Yeah, we this do have is umbrellas. Not a professional contact for shell. It's a major corporation. We have some. Well, what was the body check? Was that like the paragon of professionalism? I do want to finish my story, though. At some point, I got to finish my story. This is in the Prevails! I get two miles to the gallon in this MFR right here. The diverse oil workers dove to safety, but the flames stretched up towards space, and the evil fascist animals taunted them in blackface. Calvin, get it! Oh shit! Get him! Yo! Hey, he touched him first, you old bitch. Uh, dude. F you. Uh, f you. You're a Kelvin. Well, I went down. Kelvin, get in the car, dude. Kelvin, come over here. Get in the car. Yo, you're a straight bitch, homie. F you. Kelvin, get out of there, dude. Kelvin, come over here. You. You're a bitch. Get out of your drive, 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 drive. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, you drive, 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 drive. We gotta get Kelvin, dude. We gotta get Kelvin. You're a bot. You're a bot, bro. You're a straight bot. Even. Fossil fuels forever, dude. F poor Kelvin, dude. Yeah, Take it right. Attack pretty gnarly, dude. Who was that bitch? Oh no. Is that us? Yeah. Oh, dude, we didn't do anything wrong. We had assaulted. Oh, no. All right. All right. Yo, say we're just trying to help our friend get out of there. He's getting attacked. If you guys love seeing blowouts like that, well, we need your help. We need your support on Patreon. The SUV, all the signs and the outfits we need to have printed up or bought, well, those cost money. Your contributions on Patreon are what keep this channel going. And in addition to just contributing, you get extra cuts, unseen content for all the videos, you get an exclusive pair of vlogs each month. And also right now, we said screw it and started re-uploading old deleted videos from YouTube. Like we got this one up right now. Also, I'm live on there every Tuesday, talking to you guys directly. So come join us on Patreon and support the mission. My heart rate hadn't even returned to normal levels from the blowout. We come up here to get some shots and... Shit. You couldn't keep yourself from tagging? Dude, uh, it's, a, it's an addiction, man. Imagine if the police had seen this. Unbelievable. We'd be in the paddy wagon on the way to county. Dude, You're a well-known tagger in the well streets. Known, well known. We're being sarcastic. He's a toy. <laughs> which is the graffiti art. It's p a poser for graffiti artists He's is what that means. Well, somebody's has a job because of me. Maybe. It's the broken window fallacy of economics, Saltine. Yeah. Just because you break something and somebody has to be paid to clean it up, yeah. those economic resources could have been used more productively. It's like you can just do any crime and say, like, well, there's cops, you know? Here's a crime for you right now. Suicide. Dive. Well, Saltine, we're going to take you right now to Pasadena. Yes. Which is a luxurious enclave of Los Angeles, and I'm not sure how they're going to take to you. They have their own police uh, force, Danny. It's kind of like Burbank, so they're a little more strict there. A couple buddies of mine gotten some Deweys, DUIs, mm. in Pasadena. So You swear you're not high? No. You don't swear you're not high? I, I swear that I'm not high. Do you see that, Leo? He's permo high, dude. He's Why are you dressed like a Latino mechanic? Yeah. 
drums because you already know, bro. I'm Dude, like, you got the the Dickies, bro. The Dickies, damn, dog. I identify as half black, half Hispanic. So. I've seen Saltine flare up and get black now twice. It's good. I think it's a survival thing for him because people don't really take him seriously as a threat. If he flares up and he acts black, that's yeah. like a cobra expanding its hood. Right. Yes, they might think he doesn't have the wherewithal to like not do something stupid that's going to put him behind bars for yeah. many, many years, yeah. you know? When Saltine comes out like, motherfucker, I'll raise up on you right now. Like, this guy might have a knife. Yeah, exactly. They call me fish god in this mug. What you finna do? Y'all yeah, like Sit the down. cops? Paul Blart, motherfucker. Yo, you're a straight bitch, homie. <laughs> F you. Saltine, we're in the Dina. Today's about you and growing. 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 Like, watch how Leo and I learn about the ASPCA. Yeah, all right, all I don't right. really know what it's about. Hello, gentlemen, how are you? So what we do, man, we rescue animals that are being abandoned, neglected, and in the worst case, abused. Yeah, it yeah, sucks. Yeah, animal cruelty is a real thing, you know what I mean? I have a cat, dude. Yeah. He was, uh... So, well, he, I, got, I got him for four thousand dollars. He was an expensive breeder cat. Is probably oh. the, the I, I know you guys oh. don't like people like me, but no, you know what? I needed the Scottish Fold. The little ears. <laughs> Are any of these animals? Do any of them have personality disorders because of their past life? Or Are they pretty good? Are they better than humans at blocking out yeah, the trauma? Rescue dogs. Like I have a few rescue. Well, my yeah. mom does. Yeah. They have like a lot of PTSD. My mom's Australian Shepherd that has some PTSD. Uh -huh. yeah. She's a bit of a biter if you get uh -huh. her close. Is it a possibility that that Australian and Shepard was a veteran? <laughs> like what, like a drug? Oh, I don't know, maybe he was sniffing for mines in the Ukraine, dude. This is a rescue from China, and she's yeah. like a tiny little Pygmies poodle mix. Mm -hmm. Wow. And she's got, she doesn't bite, but she like... She's a, she's a chick from China? No, it's a baby like dog. Uh, I'm surprised I didn't throw over a fucking bridge, huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you guys don't have a branch in China or Korea, you should think about that, because, you know, bon appetit. <laughs> That's the worst. You know, fucking... With all the dogs that got devoured. Ones, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you guys heard about the um, the uh, the dog pound over in Santa Monica that became a kill shelter when I got hired. Oh yeah, oh, when you got hired. <laughs> hey, I, went down? I made some changes, dude. I made some oh, changes. Do you stand up? We actually have a stand up show okay, tonight. Yeah. <laughs> hey, save the woof woofs, people. Save the woof woofs. Save the dog. Even the black and the brown animals as well. Save them all. Not just the white. Why would you even need to differentiate? Oh, I'm sorry. They, I it's just... Yeah. Maybe because a lot of the cats in shelters that are darker hues, of like for their fur, yeah. don't get adopted since it's so dark in the kennel. Yeah. It's the harder for them to see. See, you thought it was lying. I'm not lying, dude. No, that's f***ed up, Leo. It's sad, dude. It's really sad. It is. It's messed up. My cat, I'm going to go ahead and say right now, my cat is white. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I... All right, guys. ASPCA, we appreciate you guys. We support your mission, too. Thank you, guys. We appreciate the ASPCA. Despite uh, any insensitive things you might have said. Thank you, Bigspin. Do it for the dogs. Do it for the dogs. Hey, dude. It's a make, dude. Say that was for the dogs. Tell the camera. Say it was for the ASPCA. It was for the ASPCA, baby. The f***ing dogs. Let's f***ing get it. Yeah, we didn't need the profanity, all but right, it's all right. We'll do it again. Yeah, let's do another take. for the dogs, baby. Yeah. The ASPCA. We're trying to polish the rough edges on him. Make him a little more presentable. Woo. Get yoked. Get yoked. Hello. How's it going, guys? We got a little homie here. We're wondering what to get this fool on to get him jacked up. Jacked up? I yeah. Your sign said get yoked, so. <laughs> how quick can you do it? That depends how much food do you think you could eat. Not very much by the looks of it. Creatine would be good. Okay. A lot of actual food. Yeah. And maybe like a mass gainer. So like a I, mass gainer. I got the the weightlifter voice already, right? Now I just need the fing muscle. You do. Food. If your upper body could catch up to your voice, yeah. you'd be formidable. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's all food. What have you been eating? It's all food, huh? I've been eating a lot of ramen, you know, sometimes chicken, maybe water. Oh my yeah. god. Try red meat. Red meat, dude? You've been living off top ramen, haven't you? Yeah. I suspect you only eat one meal a day. Sometimes. You gotta fall in love with yourself, Saltine. That you is, do. I have the, always been alone with myself. Every day I look at myself one. in the mirror, especially if I'm naked, I'll smack my and look at myself like, damn, I'm sad. And do you really smack your in the I've mirror? I've done it a couple times and like gotten- Wow, time. wow. Saltine, if you know him from the podcast, actually does have a very large member. What percentage of your self-esteem do you think comes from your nether region? 
not no nah, actually everything else is actually more of my self esteem what do you like, say to the people that say that it's the only thing that, that is positive about you I think that my looks bro like what like, what do you think to the people who comment on our YouTube channel right. that if Saltine didn't have an 8 inch penis he would have killed himself 5 years ago what do you say to those um, comments I'd say you're f***ing wrong because mother how you doing darling the man you see behind me with the unkempt hair, he's getting married to another man. Yeah. All right. Are you okay with that, first of all? Yeah. You'd make the cake? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I haven't told you yet what he wants drawn on the icing. All right. This is where we've lost a couple of the cake shops. Two, so far, well, this is our third cake shop. The other two said no, so. Does the term water buffalo mean anything to you? Yep, it doesn't mean much to anybody outside of West Hollywood or the Castro District of San Francisco. Yeah. And uh, I'll give you a hint too, it's not one of the big cow-like things that lives in Africa. A water buffalo is when a gay man puts his semi-erect penis into another gay man's asshole and then urinates. Okay. Yeah. He wants a depiction of that done up in icing atop his cake. And the, and the icing to be yellow, kind of leaking over the sides. He also has a two gallon empty bottle of Hawaiian punch and uh, he's been filling it for two or three months with his own semen and he wants the cake to be at least 30% his own semen. It's a little well, out of control. I can let you know that we would not be able to do that. We would be the third baby. Damn it! This is gonna be able to help. I told you. I just, it's always... Who, who do we go to? It's just it's not. You go to West Hollywood. Oh, yeah, thank Hollywood. you. I think that's what we have to do. Okay, well, there's a place called Cake and Art. Okay, the original art. owner of Cakes and Cake worked for, and yeah. they did all that kind of stuff. They'll put 30% jizz in the wedding cake. Well, who knows? <laughs> I doubt that. I doubt that. That's yeah. probably against the law. It yeah. might be against the law, yeah. <laughs> you know, he's asking for it. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, we couldn't give you business he's, today, but... He's got a big, big gay wedding coming up. We got a couple of weird specifications we're working on, but she was so lovely. She's the best. The best in Los Angeles, greater area and stuff. Cakes the cake. <laughs> What's up, man? I heard this is the place to come to find some box. Uh, I mean, if there's box, we're there. Yeah, we're, we're gonna move heaven and earth to get to that box. I love box, dude. Munching on box. You know what we're saying, Burying though? my beak in some box. box. You know what I mean? Getting mad box, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got a box at home? No. <laughs> you got plenty of box here, though. I'll yeah, tell you what. What's up, man? Oh, dude. He got a box this guy. This guy doesn't even have to leave his place of work to find some box, Leo. This place is busting with boxes, man. Where are the extra large boxes, honestly, dude? Fuck, these things are big, dude. dude it's it's going to cost $150 at the bar to get these things drunk. Dude, I think that's, yep, that's where I used to work, dude. It's a different, it's called something else now. Boldly Grow Hydroponics. Miss, are you trying to go into the weed grow shop? Yeah, go ahead. Are you a fellow marijuana dealer? Hell yeah, we sure are. You want me to say, our shit's gonna attack my bugs. Yeah. yeah. And what else? Uh, you gotta figure it out. What's the problem with our grow? You're the guy who runs our grow, dude. You yeah. should know the ins and outs of the plant. So, um, present your question, Salty. So, uh, like, my plants, they're like getting, uh, like, attacked by bugs and rodents and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Bugs and rodents? Yeah, rodents. Yeah, he's, he's got a uh, one bedroom in downtown LA and it's kind of overrun. Right, it's right. over it's overrun by like rodents and uh, and bugs. It uh, might technically be a utility closet he lives in that the, yeah, the, the building manager gives him for cheap. I think they call it, a, I think it was a, what is it, a, a maid's quarters is yeah. what it is because okay. it's only 250 square feet, so, so it's really not level. That's, but we should probably stop humiliating him in public and get to the issue of All right, plants. the issue, yeah, the issue is... It's a real shit hole. Yeah. It looks, uh, it doesn't, it has a one small window and it's like, it's, he's too short to really even kind of look through it. So it's, it's almost, it's almost like a well, prison. It has nothing to do with the it. one woman he brought back to it was never to be heard from again. Yeah. Well, no, back need, to your plans, back to your plans. I need something that will stop this. Yeah. So uh, rodents and bugs. And what do the bugs look like? Is that? Yeah, your best bet is to identify the type of bug because I can't yeah. prescribe something. That's asking like that. a lot from this guy. Right. Now, do you have any pictures of the bug or the damage? That would be nah, great, yeah. No, I, I, you, always you sent me, he sent me one. I'll look, I'll look one up right now. <laughs> is that what it is? is that, I have no idea that. It's like a spider. I see a... Sir, instead of any sort of, uh, you know, uh, anti-bug, I mean, would you just maybe recommend this guy killing himself? It's up to you guys. <laughs> Bat guano. Me. That's holy bat. That's bat shit. That's bat oh my shit, god, dude. dude! Oh, this is what we needed. That's, dude, we should buy just a box of bat, bat shit. shit yeah, right. <laughs> oh my god, dude! <laughs> we didn't end up getting any pesticides after all. Just a big box of bat shit. Bat guano. Guano. 
Dude, if we had a rat dick here, the thing is, you know he would uh, snort lines of bad shit. My head! Oh! <laughs> what about feeding the poor? Rat dick, bro! Ah! Okay, that's... So, Saltine, what do you gravitate toward when you walk into a comic shop? Walk us through your thought process here. What do you like? Nothing vulgar either. No anime either. Well, I do like, I mean, Deadpool's cool. I had his comics. You want to find some Deadpool? This is, uh, it's a good piece of rating for Lander to Tavio. You've been canceled? Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> I think this guy might have been one of your coworkers at Waterworld. It's not very nice, dude. I think he actually might have had the consent of the ladies that he took into the E.T. parking lot. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. I know. Like, well, it was Jurassic. I, I never went into E.T. It does look like he was sexually assault. When did Jurassic Wait, which, which guy? This guy or this guy? Which? Yeah. I think... <laughs> A little shocked there's a comic about Anne Frank. Isn't that odd? All right, where's uh, like where's the death camps? I don't remember a unicorn cavalry battle in Poland. I don't remember that. All right, I want to see if there's survival at the end or. This book yeah. actually doesn't. It would... You thought uh, Anne Frank ended up as a pile of ashes in the bottom of a crematorium? No. Mm -hmm. The story ends with a kitty doing a loop de loop. That's right. It's a happier ending in my mind. Yeah. Salty. Back to my favorite superhero, yeah. I just remembered it. Yeah. The Flash. That's my favorite. Why do you like The Flash? I have a feeling the it Flash? involves that The Flash being able to spy on naked women. No, that's 100%. Why is that? Is that really why you like The Flash? Why would that make any sense? This guy is fast as f Yeah, but you like that because you can rush into his crush's room, see her change, no, and get you the fuck out. When the cops come, time travel, he's fast as f He can shoot lightning at your ass, boy. What he got a little think? thugged out, Leo. He, yeah, I don't think he gets a little thugged long. out in times of stress and when he's talking about the Flash. Yeah, that's strange. How do you feel about the Flash? <laughs> Which one? We have a theory, sir, yeah. that a man's favorite comic book hero provides deep psychological insights into his character. Right. He told us he likes The Flash, which to me is suspect because The Flash, when I think of him, too. I think of a guy who can commit crimes, notably crimes against women, very quickly and be gone before the authorities well, arrive. That's where you and I differ. You think about that, and I think about like, time travel and all this sick That shit. is the key for The Flash usually. Yeah. Yeah. He can yeah. create hurricane, like hurricane in Katrina type shit. Yeah. Okay, so you want to injure black these? people? No. Like, what? Nobody can do that. You, you know what? Do you want to recreate Hurricane Katrina? Why would you want to do that? That nah, took bro, out you gotta, so many black if people. Remember Kanye? To what he wanted to you you say? George Bush don't care about black people. To kill the boss, bro, then you do that. Or you got to create a fucking like tornado around them. No, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. When he came in here, though, he did. He was looking for the Spider-Man new series where he's gay, the one where he's a, he's a homosexual. Okay. Do you guys have yeah. that one? Are you you're talking about the? Uh, it's the Marvel Pride one, right? Right. Uh, Marvel Pride. You guys like have that. it? Yeah. Oh wow, they got, got the DC Marvel. Pride they too. have Marvel and DC Pride here, bro. So you're uh, good. Yeah. There's your Spidey. Oh, uh, there he is. So this one I noticed. It's in the cellophane cover, which means usually in a 7-Eleven, for instance, that the contents are so explicit. <laughs> The owner can't risk the content coming into the hands of children. Yeah, this, if we bag and board everything in here. The only triple X stuff we, that we do have is held on the counter because we we have too many kids that come in. Here. Oh, really? What kind of triple X stuff you got? No, oh, we could show you up there. We got a is, whole box up there. Is this triple X though? No, Carmen. You mm -hmm. have triple X comics? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sure. I mean, yeah. like hen, there's hentai. Yeah. All yeah. That. yeah. Okay. The hentai Let's grab some of that. Oh boy, we got the goodies, Danny boy. Look at this. Yeah. Oh shit, quick. dude. <laughs> this looks fucked up, dude. This guy has a Nazi <laughs> insignia, and he's squirting so something this, out of his Carmen, tent. how is this, this okay? Is, this is actually, this is, I think, Prison Pit. Yeah. This is a very particular type of artist. This is what he does. He okay. has he Nazis? And very just, think of, violent. think of L, your LSD dream coming onto paper. That's you know? crazy, dude. There you, go. you gotta support the freedom of speech going on in the comic book world, yeah, though. You, I love it. Yeah. Reverse your eyes, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the 18 and up section for Sorry, today. buddy. If you want to see Dr. Strange Nuts, though, they're right here. So. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Those are Dodger Strange Nuts. Ah, bugs are coming out of my baby's <laughs> That's a real... We'll stick to the Marvel oh, Pride. I can't wait to rip into yeah, this thing. Funny. All right, where's the... Where's something gay gonna happen, dude? Yeah, we need like a make out or something. Yeah, I gotta get something going on here. She seems to be more diverse than usual. Yeah. Oh, there's the lesbian make out. Found yeah. it. Yeah. These two... This is cross species. You know, I support gay sex as long as they're both the same species, dude. Seriously. That's not cool. You go, where do you get off having that light so f***ing bright? Okay, dude, I'm not going to be able to see anything for the rest of the night. Oh my f***.
Nico, what do you think this is okay? <laughs> there was think, a lot of liquid You think this there. is okay, Nico, what's going on right now? You think my retinas might be something I need in the future? It doesn't seem like you think that. He's staring into the sun. Hold on, let me try healthy. something real quick. Hold on. How's that? Better? I mean, it's... It, I'm no longer staring into the sun. I'm now staring directly into a spotlight right. outside of the Chinese theater on Hollywood Boulevard. Right. Which feels great, by the way. Nico, you really need to reconsider your approach to this whole life thing. Yeah. Common sense. Something. Look it up in the dictionary. You need more of it. Ah, dude. I'll throw, so now I'll throw this at him, dude. <laughs> dude, what the fuck? <laughs> We're that's white, bro. No, that's too much liquor. Too much liquor. No. You're lucky, Nico. We have a show at the Ice House Comedy Club in Pasadena, California. If you guys are curious about coming out and seeing us live, well, just follow us on Instagram. The Lee Man, the D Man. We might come to your city very soon here. You all right? You're pretty drunk? You guys start clapping right now for my guy, Danny Moore! Gonna be all right now that your gay lover left. <laughs> Don't talk to me in case AIDS is airborne. <laughs> Makes me sick. It's football season now. Where are the football fans at? Yeah. Uh, hell yeah. You a Cowboys fan too? Yeah. yeah. You're such a gay Cowboy fan. You jerk off the Brown Pack Mountain, bitch. I don't think like, like Cowboys was Tony Romo walking out with two girls on his chest. So when you get this kid an IV drip, he's got alcohol poisoning. Either that or a lot of people with Down syndrome sitting in my front row. <laughs> 